Ooh, what's up everybody, and of course, welcome to another episode from yours truly, The Scarender. And um, yeah, today I have some sad news at the same time. It was kind of expected, but it was much closer than I thought it would be. But Hoopa U, uh, or Unbound, got banned from OU. With actually, I do believe it was 65% of something that's not overly... Um, like, not... Were all people actually speaking for its favor, much like Metagross Leader, which I bar think barely survived uh, OU with uh, I do believe 58 or something like that. So it needed 60 to be bad, so yeah, it's definitely over 60. And uh, yeah, one can un understand the aspect of this. I was actually gonna take both sides of the argument. I'm gonna start with the reason why it's banned in the first place, and that is, of course, of its outright outrageous uh, attack stats. And I say stats. It has, I do believe, 160 on attack, 117 special attack. That hurts a lot, actually. It, it actually is outright disgusting. And um, has a massive move pool, you know, likes of Gunk Shot, Brain Punch. It can work around itself really well. And of course, with 130 special attack, it's highly unlikely it gets KO'd on a switch on a special attacker. So, yeah, it's probably the primary wall breaker. Even worse than, of course, the likes of Curem. It just hurts so much. So, yeah, and of course, it's Stab, Dark Stab. Yeah, disgusting. So that's a merit. That's the reason people are having issues with it. There are no switch-ins to this guy, basically. Whatever is in is gonna get hurt. Even switched in is also gonna get hurt. Uh, and there, there is no wall that can actually outright de deal with it properly. Now, what speaks be before the reason should say in OU is probably the reason it has been around in OU for, I do believe, three or four months now. And that is that it, its defenses of 60 base, not that impressive actually. And its speed tier of 80, the same there, not that impressive. It needs a scarf or something that could pass on its uh, speed, basically agility and a baton pass. And that means you have to bring Hoopa safely at the same time. So that makes it kind of niche to use properly, and of course Dark Psychic is not the best kind of typing really. Uh, of course only having two weaknesses, but one of them being quite prominent. Fairy, not so dangerous. Bug, yeah, U-turners are everywhere for momentum gainers, so that really hurts Hoopa. And I think that's the reason, like I said, it's been around for so long. People are saying to some extent, or actually I'm saying myself, that Hoopa is manageable, there are things that can definitely kill it, but my god, if this thing isn't an extreme revenge killer when it comes to that. I mean, I've dealt with Hoopas a lot in OU, and sometimes you can work around it, sometimes you cannot. Hoopa U is definitely a mon that if you can't hurt it enough, it's going to destroy you, and I feel that that's the reason. It's kind of un unbalanced in that fashion. It's not really bringing any balance to OU when it comes to how this guy is used. It's it breaks asunder team in the long run. If this this is simply too hard to deal with, and of course, matchups such as Rocky Helmet, Garchomp with Rough Skin, uh, trying to get the U-turn on the Hoopa is what basically made this thing so hard to stop. Because there aren't mods that could stop it properly. There are clearly mods that are limited by default against it. Now Hoopa U is not a great mod in Uber. I'll even state so far and say that it's gonna be forgotten. Pretty much what. Um, Actually, I do believe Mega Wall Mobile became in Ubers too. It, it's not that it's extremely powerful for for Ubers because it's definitely is not, but it's definitely it's powerful enough to not resides in OU. So it is with a sad face that I'll, I'll actually have to say that Koopa it has to go. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, I don't find it primarily as dangerous as people say it is. But I can't deny the fact that Hoopa definitely keeps a pressure on for really the whole OU meta. So Cynico, while while it's sad, it still is very understandable. And um, I think a lot of people are now going to reevaluate how they're going to use their team. Um, because this change will mean that OU will be not as punishing playing defensively anymore. At least not in the same fashion. And I, I wonder... Uh, how it's gonna turn out, but yeah, definitely, like I said, Hoopa, not a right broken, but it's definitely powerful enough to not resign no you. So I, I'm sad to see it go, but I understand why, and I hope this short video got you guys to understand a little bit, because 
yeah, I mean, a lot of people are surprised with the outcome. I, I wasn't, but at the same time, I really, really didn't think it would be this close. So people are definitely have a mixed feeling about this one. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to spread, of course, this update through Twitter and stuff like that, mentioning Hoopa is gone for now. <laughs> I mean, Generation 7 is just around the corner. Who knows, it might actually come back for us. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.